Well, I want to welcome you to our session on angels. And uh, as, if you're just joining us, <coughs> we had a part one, which had a session on the angelic realm in general, in which we emphasized setting aside the baggage of our misconceptions as an essential prelude to the whole program. And then the second session, we got into biblical angels, their characteristics, their limitations, and so forth. Those were our two sessions constituting a part one. But we're now going to go into part two. But before we do, a little bit of review of one essential prerequisite may be in order. We spent some time in the first session on establishing what we call the boundaries of our reality. And we used by Tupian Man as our reach of man. And that which was larger than us, we call the macrocosm. And that which was smaller than us, we call the microcosm. And examining the advances in science in both areas, we discovered something shocking. The macrocosm, our universe is finite. It's not infinite. And uh, it had a beginning. And uh, that's a prof that becomes a profound issue in our understanding our universe. As we go the other way into the microcosm, it's even more shocking as we discover that our entire uh, physical universe is made up of indivisible units. It's digital. And uh, we got into the Planck limits and so forth last time. But the main idea to realize is that which we consider the reality is actually bounded in largeness and smallness digitally. And so if we discover that we are actually in a virtual environment, a digital environment. In fact, um, we call the exterior of all of this the metacosm that which is outside the boundaries of our physical universe. In fact, we uh, called attention to an article in Scientific American back in 2005, which discussed the fact that our constants of physics are changing. Therefore, that implies that our physical reality is actually a shadow of a larger reality. And that caught our attention because that's exactly what the Bible has been saying all along. And most of what we're going to be dealing with, especially in the next few sessions, <laughs> will be those things that are going on in the metacosm, outside the normal physical boundaries of what we regard as our physical universe. 